Right, what's happening guys? So we're getting around to do this pricing software video. I'm gonna show you the pricing software that I use, which has helped me over the last couple of years save lots and lots of time, make my life a lot easier, give me a full material breakdown, provides me with a contract so I get the clients to sign, which is legally binding. It also has project management modules on it as well to help you keep track of you guys and keep track of progress and it also has a scheduling one on there as well so it's quite a uh, it's quite well it is it's a really good software i don't i'm not getting paid to do this video i just thought i would share my knowledge i've used a few different ones um on demos and this one for me i just found it really easy to navigate really simple simplified it and uh, like I say it's just saved me a lot of time so what I'm going to do just to simplify things I'm just basically created a job so let's just do a rear extension six meters wide by three meters out for like a lounge, say something like that, yeah. So we'll have a set of bifolds in it, 4.8 wide by 2.1 high. I won't do a knock through or nothing like that, and I'll just keep it very, very simple, very basic. And uh, we'll see how long it takes to push through it. This is a software, it's called Price a Job. It's on www.priceajob.co.uk. There's also an app as well that you can use which I find very handy when I'm on site and the client wants a sort of quickie extra cost. Yeah, so they're like, oh, how much would it cost to take that chimney down, for example? I can pull my phone out, create module, demolition of a chimney stack, type in whether it's one, two floors, including the roof, Add in a scaffold if needed, and I can go, boss, there you go. Here's a price in less than five minutes. Um, and sometimes that is enough for them to go yay or nay. They only want a ballpark figure, and then we can sit down and work it all out after. So I find that very useful as well. Now that's the home page. So you've got pricing, products, about, contacts, what I'm going to do is literally log in. I'm going to go to add projects because I've done several projects. Well, I've done loads of projects, but let's type in rear extension demo save so basically all your modules are at the top so you've got legal fees which is like your building control structural engineering stuff Preparation, preliminaries, site equipment, toilets, office equipment, garage doors, and your wall openings fall under that one. Woodwork, loft boarding, skirting boards, architraves, windows, stairs, internal doors. Start from the left and work your way along. So, preliminaries. Right, preliminaries, so you've got foremen, supervisors, general labourers for the jobs, and then we'll go disposal of waste. So I want one supervisor, just literally follow the drop downs and all of it. How many weeks? You've got an eight week job, so it's whether you put someone in for whatever you want to do really. Um, eight weeks of a job, 20 hours a week, something like that. Labourer, 
put him in for the same eight weeks, 20 hours a week. Three skips on it, does work out your skips for you, but it's always good to have a bit of a contingency. Then we'll go site equipment, put a toilet on there. One toilet, 10 weeks just in case. It's got your delivery on there. You can change all the prices down here just to make sure it lines up. I won't do any demolition. I will put a scaffolding on it now. But normally, like you'd say, you'd do your preparation. So if you had a knock through, you'd be taking the back windows and doors out and stuff like that. So we want 2.4 high by 12 meters, top board, top lift boarded, sorry. That's about that. Well, we'll go preparation protection. I won't go in the house, we'll just do driveway protection. Got a tarpaulin on there. And we'll put half a dozen sheets of 9mm board shuttering. Six boards, that's that covered. Next one, drain runs. So we want to add a five metre drain run, which will go to our soak away. Then we'll add a soak away. Literally, just work your way along, drop downs. Area to be drained, let's call it 50 square meters. <clears throat> that gives us a cube. And we'll add on a couple of fittings as well on that. Um, want to want a bottle gully for the uh, downpipe. That's happy days. Move along, foundations, strip foundation, trench foundation, whatever you call it. We've got three meters, three meters, and six meters. And that's probably the corner comes out, but we'll call it 12. 600 wide now for new regs. I usually go 1500 deep and I'll do a 1250 concrete pour. Um, allow for, always allow for mesh. Don't always need it. And I also allow for a pump. You can adjust all these totals as you go through. This is saying 66 quid for a one and a half ton digger, but we're paying about 75 quid, so you can adjust it individually or you can go to the settings and just update it next one along below dpc walls below dpc so we'll have a cavity wall this will be with your cavity fill your concrete fill so again 12 meters inner blocks will be the same you can set the height on the outer brickwork and the block height sometimes on the inner skin you got 450 there, but if you've got a higher damp or low ground level, then you can adjust that to suit. You can also add in air bricks and stuff like that. This is where you'd add in your ducting as well. Ground floor, we'll go concrete floor. Eighteen meters squared. I know it's slightly less. And what this is doing as well, it's telling me exactly how much material I need, which I can show you that at the end. Concrete slab, 1.8 meter cubed. Again, you could put a pump on that if you wanted. You can do ready mix, mix on site, 
or a concrete pump and you've got your mesh in that as well just one layer and then your floor screed external walls cavity walls Thirty square meters of brickwork. It's got a seventy p allowance for a brick. I would put that up to one hundred and fifty personally, just to cover your bum. Uh, cavity size. Should have updated it. Wall ties. One, two, three, four. You can add in labourers as well, stuff like that, for a couple of days if you need to. Steel beams, we'll have a steel beam above the bifold. I'm just doing a guesstimate on this one, based on our last project, so parallel flange. What we've got four eight bifolds with a 200 bearing, so 5.2, so we'll call it five and a half to be safe. We also want a flat bar. To weld on, which will be 300 mil wide. Got two fifties, and we've got external doors, bifolds. One set of bifolds, aluminium. On the drop down, we'll go 4.8 in grey. Skirting boards, literally work your way along, do all the drop downs, when you get to the end the job is done, so it sort of prods you, encourages you to not miss anything out, as we all know it's very, very easy to do. 18 metres of skirting at 119 mil. we'll take the decorating off. Architrave, I'll just allow for one one door, one single door. So I'll do two sides of Architrave. Change everything in here. Look, you got molded doors, softwood, hardwood, sets of hinges, and all that. You go for a bathroom lock or a five lever lock. Right, roof structure, flat roof. Put in dims, six meters by three meters. And what it will do is it will allow for your overhangs for your soffit and your fascias. And it tells us our roof area is 20.5 meters squared. Check the rafters. They're at six per twos. That may want to be a little bit beefier than that. So you can always just change that look. Go with eight by twos, one nine fives. Mm. Roof covering, torch on felt, GRP, single layer felt, EPDM. EPDM is quite popular, so we'll just go with that. Type in the meters that it just already worked out for us 20.5. We'll round it up to 21.
got in the lengths and the whips and it'll work out all the trims that you need, all your corners and all your flashings. Next one down, roof insulation. So we're going to be having a warm deck. So we'll click ceiling, 21 square meters above rock wall or fluffy or rigid. So rigid. One layer, 150 Celotex. Roof windows, no. Soffit and fascias, yes. Twelve meters. Twelve meters of soffit, twelve meters of fascia. Lastly, we've got a gutter in. So we'll just have a gutter on the front. So six meters, six brackets, one outlet, two stop ends, cut the unions, down pipes, only one or two and a half, one shoe, three or four clips, and a couple of offsets. Electrics module, fairly simple. You can do it individually or create a module. So this will be for a living room. So let's change lights to spotlights. We'll go 18 spotlights. So I'll change the switch to two. I'm gonna have four double sockets and add in some bulbs. Free watt LED. Plumbing. We haven't got any plumbing. We'll go with heating. Couple of rads. Radiators with first fixed. Two rads. It's got the BTU calculator as well, and it tells you how much you need. <laughs> right, wall finishes next on the list. Dot and dab. Thirty meters plus the old back of the house. So forty five meters basically. That gives you your price for priming your walls, skimming your walls, you've got to add in your beads for around your doors and your windows and stuff like that. Normally stick a couple of a couple of packs of ten on there. Ceiling, plasterboard lining. So we've got 18 internal, 18 meters. Cool niche on there as well. You can add or take that off. And then we'll also go internal decorating, just to make life easier. Painting walls, painting ceiling, put the meterage in, so we add 45 walls and 18 for the ceiling. 
two mist coat and we'll mist coat plus two coats in white. Now this is all set to my guys wages, daily rates, hourly rates. So what I'm gonna show you, which is what is done in the background. We've got our cover letter. We've got our quotation, all built, telling us exactly what's included, all the important information and a price for each. You can remove the price of each stage if you wish. And then down the bottom, you'll have your price. You can change that to estimate, quote, quotation or proposal. You've got a little summary of each task. Resources. This is your material list, which you can take to any merchant to get a price, get a ballpark, get a benchmark. You've got a bill of quantities as well. And also your breakdown, your materials, your labor, and your profit and your loss. And your contract, which I find this very, very useful, which is basically um, very similar to the JCT one. So you can edit it, it's got payment terms, terms about snags, handover, contract price, what a variation is, has a variations process. Explains what will happen if the client pays late or doesn't pay at all. So I basically just sat there live and done a rear extension 18 square meters in less than half an hour. Before you send it on, you wanna to go to project, project details Go to your VAT and your profit, and you can set. What each section you want your profit. So I've just put it at 30% on each, which comes to 13,742. Down here, VAT registered, yes, which will change the totals on the material. So that's giving us A grand total for that project, 64,316. And you've got your breakdowns on there as well. You've got your labor, your profit, your materials. At the top, you've also got project managing, just your estimate. You've got your scheduling as well. So if I import into the scheduling module, this will give me a timeline that I can send to the client as well, which is very handy. You've got an accounting one on there now, and also the building regs. So you can create modules to double check what the building regulations are in terms of insulation and stuff like that. If I do solid ground floor, for example, it will tell us, look, exactly what we need to be doing. So you can obviously print that off as well, send it to the client, include it. So all I will do now is go to proposal, click download, download it, and then send it straight on. As I said, guys, I'm not getting paid to do this video, just literally sharing my knowledge, um, what we've done right and what we've done wrong, what helps us out, what saves us time. I mean, that there, I've just done a rear extension in less than 30 minutes. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing it. 
let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you soon.